Of the hundreds and thousands and millions and billions and trillions of fish that we kill every year, not one should have died. They should all be alive. It has got to stop now, do you hear? Of the tens and the hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of fish that we kill every day, no death was humane. They can't feel. That's just lame. Pretty soon we're the ones who will pay. When the fear and the pain gets picked up by their brain, toxic hormones get passed on to us. Mixed with lead, mercury, PCBs, DDT, book your seat on the cancer death bus. This marine holocaust is about to exhaust all the oceans, we'll soon be too late. With hypoxic dead zones, let's be clear, make no bones, we'll be fucked by 2048. seven trillion more every year than the number of humans to have ever existed in the history of our species. Our oceans, our earth, and we ourselves are facing a massive extinction. We have already gone beyond the point of being able to reverse the damage. As Dr. Openlander states, it has been 300 million years since the last time our oceans have been this warm and acidic. And at that time, it took over 30 million years to recover. Hi, I'm Captain Paul Watson. and You and I are on board Spaceship Earth. We're on a trip around the galaxy and the only way we can survive is if our life support system is maintained. We're not crews. We're just passengers having a great time amusing ourselves. But what we're doing is we're killing the crew. And there's only so many crew members you kill before the whole thing begins to collapse. If the oceans die, we die. We don't live on this planet with a dead ocean. If the oceans die, we die. We don't live on this planet with a dead ocean. If the oceans die, we die. We don't live on this planet with a dead ocean. If the oceans die, we die. We don't live on this planet with the dead. The oceans die, we die. We don't live on this planet.